Latinx is a relatively new term used to describe a person from Latin American origin or descent. The X is supposed to be gender neutral. Latino references a male, Latina a female, so with the X on the end, it covers everyone. According to Google Trends, the term first appeared online in 2004 in Puerto Rican academic papers to, quote, challenge the gender binaries encoded in the Spanish language. But a study by the Pew Research Center shows only 23 percent of U.S. adults who identify as Hispanic or Latino have ever heard of the term, and only 3% say they use it to describe themselves. The confusion stems from trying to lump people from so many different countries and cultures together. It's often incorrectly assumed that all Latinx people speak Spanish. In fact, in the largest Latin American country, Brazil, they speak Portuguese. And in some Caribbean countries like Haiti, they speak French. Another misconception is that all Latinx people are brown in skin color. Some countries like Chile are predominantly white. Latinx is just the latest in the struggle to appropriately identify this group of people. In the 1970s, the term Hispanic showed up, but that implies a connection to Spain. And as we explained, not all countries in Latin America speak Spanish. Later in the 1990s, a new label emerged, Latino. And now we have Latinx, the X for inclusivity. So then, Jessica, what term should people use? Well, Joyce, I'm Brazilian. And based on my experience and other Latinx people I've spoken to, they don't necessarily like Latinx or even Latino and Latina. They'd like to be identified based on country, so Brazilian. Colombian, Peruvian, Panamanian, you name it. Which makes sense. So Latinx is just really too broad for so many different countries and cultures. That's right. And even the Spanish that they speak in Latin America varies from country to country with slang and accents. And a lot of the U.S. stereotypes, especially here on the West Coast, are based on Mexico.